I hope that you guys are able to put all four of these sessions together and really up your artistry. All right. Oh my gosh, it's time. Dun, dun, dun. You guys ready to work on your feet? Everybody? Feet, 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 feet. So welcome to artistry training number two from Precision Choreography. We are Precision Choreo and Camps, and we are trying to do what we can to help you guys keep your keep your tools sharp for gymnastics. So, you know, I'm sure all of you unfortunately have had some sort of experience with maybe a setback or injury or something that's prevented you from doing your full training. And normally what you do is you still go to the gym and you work on the things that you can while you're healing whatever you need to heal. So, like when you or if you've ever hurt your foot, that's an opportunity to what? Who's got it? When you hurt your foot, you work more on the easiest event, right? Just kidding. Yes, bars. Um, so we're kind of trying to look at it this way, you know? We're, we're trying to go, okay, we got this situation, right? And it kind of stinks, really stinks. But what is this an opportunity to work on that maybe we don't get to all the time in the gym or as much as we would like to? Artistry. And did you guys know that the stuff that we're working on in these four sessions is a, a total of eight tenths of your total score from beam and floor? So all the stuff that we're talking about in these four sessions with your, your footwork, your artistry, your uh, posture and flexibility, all that stuff, it goes up to eight tenths. So that's a lot. And if you, so I'm thinking that you guys probably want to increase your score by maybe eight tenths or something in there. Yeah. So we're gonna do it. Footwork. I got my nice grippy socks on, I'm outside again, and we're gonna be working on feet. Now, when I'm talking about footwork, I'm talking about the way you use your feet in your choreography, not on your skills. So when you guys are doing a floor routine, let's just use floor as an example, you can get a half a tenth deduction every time we see that or that in a skill. But when your routine is over, we look at your choreography, all the stuff in between, and we go, okay, how are, how are the feet there? Now, I'm saying we because I'm a judge, too. And believe it or not, and I said this yesterday, we actually want to give you good scores. You just got to earn them. So here's a little trick. Fix your feet in your choreography, and you can increase your score by up to two times. okay? So it may not be the most fun thing in the world, but it is totally worth it, all right? So... The first thing I want to show you guys are the, the major things that we're looking for with feet, and I'm going to ask you guys to do this along with me, all right? So hopefully everybody can see my feet. Okay, so everybody just stand like this, all right? So we're standing flat foot. Now, in choreography, if your feet are flat, they should be turned out. Any step that you take in your beam or floor routine, if your foot is flat, it should be turned out. So I want everybody to stand with their feet together. Close your eyes, feel what that feels like, and now inch your feet out to the side and feel the difference. Now look down at your feet, look up, and now slide one foot forward. Close your eyes, feel what turnout feels like. Now put them straight. Close your eyes, feel the difference. Keep your eyes closed, turn them back out again. Don't fall over. Feel the difference, all right? So flat feet turned out is huge. The other thing is releve. So if you're in a releve, you need to be in the highest releve possible. A half releve is going to decrease your score as far as footwork goes. So I want everybody to find a place, maybe a couch or a wall, where you can stand and just have a little support. All right, I'll give you guys a second to get there. And we're gonna put our feet together. And now we're going to do a releve as high as we can. Now stay here and now bend your knees just a little bit and see if you can get your releve higher. Oh yeah, you probably feel that right back here in the Achilles. Okay, bend a little bit more so you can get your feet even further in releve. And bend a little more so you can get them further in releve. Holy cow, that's burning. Your legs should be cooking a little bit. All right, hand on your heart. And now I want you to slowly straighten your legs and try not to let your heels drop. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and lower. 
All right, so let's do that again. I'm gonna go up to releve. Head and make a mental note where your feet are and plie. Now get your feet higher. Plie more down higher. Now look at that amazing releve. Look down at your own feet right now. And look how high your releve is now that your knees are bent. This hurts your toes. Try to spread your toes out a little bit, guys, so you're not curling them. And now slowly straighten those legs and see if you can hold that. You're gonna feel it back here. It's because your feet aren't used to being that high when your legs are straight. So we wanna feel what that feels like. That's the releve we're working toward, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys an exercise to do. I want everybody to do five times. You're gonna do plie releves. So you're gonna hold on to your balance point and you're gonna go through this a lot smoother, just like this. Okay, hands on your hips and you're gonna go. Plie, releve, slowly straighten down. Plie, releve, slowly straighten down. Try to keep your heels together. Three, plie, releve, slowly straighten down. When you releve, make sure but you don't do that with your feet. You're gonna keep your heels together. Slowly straighten down. I think we have two more. Plie. Pop that releve way up, way up. Bone of your foot over your toes. Watch your posture. And last one, plie. Releve. And lower. All right, shake those feet out. I know, wasn't that so fun? It's gonna help your releve. It's gonna strengthen your feet. It's gonna teach your body where it's supposed to be. Okay, next one. Do you guys know what tondu is? I'm going to pretend you're all saying, yes, I know what tondu is. So tondu is where you're going to extend your leg, point your foot, and barely touch it to the ground. Just like this. Okay, so that's a tondu. When you do a tondu, I want you to have every one of your toes gently touching the ground. Okay? So that means your leg is going to have to turn out a little bit, and you're going to have your toes all touching the ground. Now, everybody hold that position. Look at your foot. And now lift it up a little bit. Lift it up off the ground. Keep looking at your foot and point it as hard as you can. So your foot is just above the ground, and you're pointing that foot as hard as you possibly can. And now lower it to touch the ground to tondu. And make it so you don't change anything about that toe point. All right, now lift it again and see if you can point it a little bit more. If you can, that means you lost your toe point when it was down. This is something that happens in choreography when you guys are doing tondus. You kind of flatten your foot out and that's gonna affect your overall score. So think for a second, how many times in your beam or floor routine are you doing this position? Or about to the side? or to the back. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret, okay? One of the biggest places, as far as tondus, that people kind of break that, that beautiful toe point is to the side. So shake your feet out, rub the arch of your foot if you need to. So that side, <laughs> that side tondu, this is the secret, Sophia. Um, you want to either to overturn out your foot, your whole leg actually, Create that side tondu or push the knuckles over a little bit. So kind of put the toenail under a little bit. It's, it's almost impossible to do a side tondu without flattening the arch of your foot a little bit. So be really, really careful on those. If it's an optional routine, I would suggest maybe just keeping it a little bit above the ground. Okay. All right. And now we're going to move into some sequences in a second. I just need to show you the fourth thing as far as feet and what we look for. So we are looking for in your choreography that your feet pass through a arch, come to a point, pass down through an arch again and step. So we're gonna do a little exercise with that. Everybody stand with your hands on your hips, belly's tight, your rib cage is closed, your shoulders are back, and your chin is lifted. And we're gonna take our right foot and pop it to a forced arch. So you have weight on the ball of your foot. Now keep that arch and point your toes off the ground. Come back to the forced arch all the way over and lower. And then other side, pop, point, forced arch, and lower. Now we're gonna walk with this, okay? And we're gonna look ridiculous, but who cares? Nobody's here, right? So 
We're gonna walk. Start here. Pop, point, and then place it down. Do you notice which way my foot is facing? It's turned out. It's flat, so it's turned out. Now I'm gonna take the back foot. Pop, point, and down. So I want you guys to take about 10 seconds, and I want you to walk around your living room or your kitchen or your bedroom, wherever you are, and I want you to just feel what it feels like to pop and point through every single step. You can do it sideways, backwards, forward, slow, quick. All right, 10 seconds starting now. And I'm So I'm going to teach you guys a foot sequence. Some of you who have worked with me before may recognize this sequence and hopefully uh, you have it mastered and it's amazing and you can learn the new ways that we're doing it. Um, so just bear with me, but I'm going to take everybody through this foot sequence. First way we're going to do it is with your hands on your hips and your head down, watching your feet. Then the second way we do it, we're going to take our head up and lift our eyes up and focus on our posture. And then I'm going to teach you guys some arm stuff and we're gonna add arms to it, okay? So this foot sequence is an awesome thing for you guys to get your feet really strengthened and your muscles remembering how they're supposed to move in your choreography, okay? Are we ready? Everybody go, yeah! Echoing. All right, own. so we're gonna make a box, all right? So you're gonna start here, and now remember, if your feet are flat, they're turned out. If they're leaving the ground, they're passing through point. If they're in a releve, they're in their highest releve. All right, so we're gonna go forward first. All right, take your right foot and go pop. Point, releve, down. Now with your back foot, pop. Point, and down. Third time, pop. Point, and down. Now releve, here's your favorite, plie. Bigger releve. Slowly stand up, and now three quick lock steps in releve. Okay, I'm gonna back up so you guys can see my feet. So we finish here, and now lower your heels. If you did it properly, you'll find yourself in fifth position. Okay, now we're gonna go to the side. Pop, point, and down. I want you guys actually looking down at your feet as much as you can. I know you're trying to watch me too. Pop, point, and down. Pop. That's a tricky one with that back leg. Pop, point. And down, and flat and turned out. Releve, plie, bigger releve. Slowly straighten up. One, two, three, and down. All right, now you're gonna go backwards. I'm gonna move so you guys can see me. And pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Releve, plie, bigger releve. Hold it. One, two, three, and down. Okay? Um, I don't think I did a full square, but you guys get it. So it's pop point three times, plie, releve, straighten, lock, lock, lock. Okay, so that is our sequence. And now we're going to move on and we're going to lift our heads up and focus on our posture. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick with posture, right? I want to guess put your hands on your hips like this so your thumbs are behind you. And use your thumbs to tuck your hips under. Now hold that tuck and tap your stomach and make sure it's tight. And now walk up to your ribs and close your ribs. So you actually are going to feel like you're standing in a hollow hold. Everybody standing hollow? You're standing hollow, but now roll your shoulders back and feel what that feels like. So your body is like trying to do a hollow hold but your shoulders are pulling back okay all right here we go we're gonna add that and we're gonna go a little quicker here we go we're starting with our feet turned out tuck tap close back eyes up and pop point and down pop point and down pop point and down releve plie bigger releve up one two three and down to the side Point and down, pop, point and down, pop, point and down, releve, plie, bigger releve, up, 
one, two, three, and down and back. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Freeze, do a body check. Tuck, tap, close, roll them back, eyes up. Pop, point, and down. Releve, plie, bigger releve. Slowly shake, one, two, three, and down to the left. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Releve. Plie. Bigger releve. Slowly straighten. One, two, three. Down. Okay. How was that? You guys ready to add arms? So let's forget about the feet for a second. Shake those feet up, okay? And we're going to add arms. Everybody ready? Okay. I want you to put your hands by your side. Shoulders back. And I want you to lift only your elbows. And now keep lifting them. So you're sliding your hands up. And now keep them right where they are. And I want you to lift only your wrists to meet your, where your elbow line is. And drop. Okay, that's it. We're going to do that a couple of times. Here we go. Elbows only. Make sure your shoulders are back. Elbows, elbows, elbows. Wrists, wrists, wrists. This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Cool, let's do it again. Drop. Shoulders back and elbows only. Wrists. This is, I know it looks so weird, but this is what I want you doing. And drop. Okay. So, what I'm trying to get you guys to do is keeping your shoulders back and separate the movement of your elbows and your wrists. Okay. It doesn't mean that I think that you guys should get out on floor and start going like this. I mean, I guess you could, but you know, it's not quite what we're going for. All right, so we're gonna add to this a little bit more. And now instead of keeping the hands glued to the side, we're gonna bring them out a little bit, but I want you to remember we're only doing elbows, then we're doing wrists, okay? So now arms are down nice and loose. Okay, and elbows, wrists. Okay, now we're gonna go a little higher. A little higher with the elbows and then a little higher with the wrists, so we're at like a V. And relax, shake it out. Elbows, wrists. Right there. Right there. Kind of like a crane, crane thing. Okay, that was a Karate Kid reference. You guys probably aren't old enough to know what that is. All right, now something I know that all of you can do is present to the judge, because you do it all the time, right? So we are going to add a present to the judge at the end, and that is gonna complete the movement, okay? So I'll do it with you. Shake it, shake it, shake it, nice and loose. Shoulders are back, and elbows, wrists, and now present to the judge. Let's do that again. Elbows, wrists, present to the judge. Elbows, wrists, Present to the judge. All right. How's that? We good? Are we good? Are we good? All right. And now we're going to do it in reverse. Okay. So we're going to start at the top of the present to the judge. And we're going to go elbows only. And see where they're behind me? Elbows only. Palms only. And release. Present to the judge. Elbows only, behind you, behind you, palms only, and release. One more time. Top of the present, elbows back, palms, and release. Okay. So you're going to try to add that to the movement because think about it, this whole footwork thing, it's not enough to just have great feet, and you can probably have great feet if you're looking at them but can you have great feet and do all of the movement that you're supposed to do? So when you're working on this foot, footwork sequence, it's really important to master it first and then see if you can start adding other parts of your body into it without losing the beautiful stuff that's going on with you. All right, so we're going to, um, we're gonna do the foot sequence one more time. Um, I'm going to walk through it, show you what the arms are going to be, and then we're going to do it with the arms, and then we're going to be done with that because we need to start working on your routines, all right? So 
when we're going forward or backward, we're doing the lift. No, we're not. Just kidding. We're doing this one. We're doing the down, 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 down. So our forward steps and our backward steps are going to be here. When we're going side to side, we're doing the lift. Okay? So the lift is elbows only, wrists only, present to the judge. And our down starts from the present and goes elbows behind you, palms and wrists. Okay? So forward and back, we're pressing down, side to side, we're lifting. All right. So we're going to start going, let's start going to the side, right? Why not? You're going to go to the side, and we are lifting. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Releve, plie, bigger releve, straighten, lock, lock, lock. Now I'm going forward. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Releve, plie, bigger releve. Straighten, bump, 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 and down. I'm in fifth position. I know you can't see my feet. Now we're going to the side, so we're going to do our lift. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Pop, point, and down. Releve, plie, bigger releve. Straighten. I'm going to lose my Instagram, people. Bump, 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 and down. I'm coming back. And now we're going backwards. And pop, point, and down, pop, point, and down, pop, point, and down, releve, plie, bigger releve, straighten, I am losing my balance, bump, 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 and down. Okay, good job. Give yourselves a high five. You realize that's just clapping, right? Give yourself a high five, you're clapping. Okay, great job, you guys. Um, I hope that you can remember that sequence. So, okay. So we got it, right? Kind of got that sequence. That's everything your feet are going to be doing, essentially, as far as how they interact with the ground. So if you can master those positions and get comfortable with them, you'll start noticing in your beam and floor choreography that those things are, are happening all the time. So you can recognize like, oh, I didn't feel my foot pass through releve every time I took a step. That didn't feel right. And so this is very much a drill that's going to come into play on everything that you do. So your uh, floor routines, I want everybody to think of the opening section of your floor routine, okay? So the very, very beginning, I would say if you're an optional, pretty much any choreography you have up until you go for your first tumbling pass. If you're a compulsory, then I would say probably everything before um, your... Let's see, you guys do this. Da, 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 da. That's level two and three. Um, yeah, we go for the jump combination for you guys for all levels. Um, this one too. That all that just that very very beginning. Um, so optionals, you might have a little more choreography. Compulsories, it's going to be a little smaller. But this is really just to give you guys an idea of how to implement this stuff. So I want everybody now to take a couple minutes or a minute. And I want you to take the opening section of your floor routine. And I want you to just keep your arms either down on your hips or just really minimally working. I want you to keep your head down, which is so weird because your coach is always telling you to get your heads up. To keep your heads down. And I want you to go slow motion. And I want you to watch your feet. Watch what your feet are doing. That's a forced arch opportunity right there. That's a fifth position flat foot opportunity there. So go through your uh, opening section of your routine. Focus on your feet, slow motion, and then we'll we'll come back in a second. Okay. As you okay. Guys are doing so I'm thinking that the gymnasts are done now doing their their choreography section. So basically, what you guys need to do is continue that work. So you've gone through and you did your choreography with your head down. I'm just going to continue to do the level four routine because it's the easier one. Um, you're doing it with your head down. So you're standing here and you're like, okay, flat foot turned out, back foot and tondu. I don't want to lose my toe point. Okay, and I'm going to step. Am I pointed off the floor? 
Is it pointed as long as possible? Am I stepping through a high releve and then lowering to flat turned out? And then I have my kick. Is it in complete, complete high releve or is it down here? And then when I come back, forced arch. Now you can pulse freeze. That's an awesome moment for you. I want you to watch this again. Watch my foot. I do that kick in high releve. Now try not to let the heel drop as you come back. Keep that foot there. And boom, huge forced arch. As you go into that last position. And then stay on toe to come in and lower for your jumps. Okay? So that's just a little trick for any of you guys. Um, do we have any little fours and fives out there that have that in their routine? I hope that was helpful. It should should definitely improve how your artistry looks and how your uh, footwork is. Okay, so yeah, take that first section like we did. Next step, get the eyes up and focus on the posture and then add your arms and go through in that sequence. Head down, slow motion, no arms. Eyes up, nice posture. We did our posture work and then add your arms and see if you can maintain that wonderful footwork that you had. And then go on to the next section of your routine. When you look at your routine, think of it in sections. And it, it, there's not a specific rule, but I, the way I do it is every bit of choreography that is in between skills. So like for an optional routine, you'd have, you know, maybe the opening section and then you have your tumbling. And then you have some choreography after you land your tumbling pass and before your leap pass. So then that's a section. And then after your leap pass, before you do your second tumbling pass. So break it down into sections and follow this for each section. Slow motion, eyes down, posture, head up, and then use your arms. Okay. Um, and you can do that on beam too. All right. So um, I, I can't tell you guys how many times I have had kids with, you know, like mid high nines in their floor and beam scores. And then I got to start looking at how did they use their feet? How was their rhythm and dynamics, which we talked about yesterday? How was their artistry? And then all of a sudden, those scores that were like, oh, she had like a 9.6 or a 9.7. Now we're all the way down in a totally different uh, ballpark with like a low 9 or high 8. So that is, that's huge. So I want you guys to really take this stuff seriously. Have fun with it, but take it seriously. Um, we are hoping that after you do these four sessions, you have gained the tools to take your artistry to a completely new level. Um, and then as far as your homework, I want you guys taking the rest of the sections of your floor routine and working on your homework too. So we're looking for tagging at Precision Choreo, hashtag artistry homework. And we want to see your homework in action. We want to see you guys working on this stuff. All right. You guys are going to love the next week ones. This week was like a little more technical. Next week, we're doing a creative movement. So we're doing some weird stuff. I hope you guys are ready. So we're going to give you guys different activities that you can do to get yourselves moving in really interesting and weird and different and creative ways. And then we're also going to do the last session, which is going to be, it's called Lessons in Emoting. So that's where we're going to teach you how to tell a story with your body. So it's going to be about, you know, making eye contact, using your face, using your body language to tell a story. So that is going to be really fun. And just remember, you put all of this stuff together and your scores are going to go up, I promise. All right. So go to our website, precisionchoreo.com. Find out about the other stuff that we do. You guys are class dismissed.